was a market that uh, had been slow. I had heard buyers were cautious, uh, but still buying in some places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Longer market time. I don't think that I would say it's good for sellers, developers right now. I would say that if the units are priced right and, and, the, and the developer knows what the consumer is looking for as far as finishes and locations and sizes, um, he can have a decent velocity um, if it's priced correctly. If it's not priced cor you know, correctly, it's, it's not going to sell that fast. What uh, other changes you've been seeing? I, I've been hearing some dissatisfaction with the standard hardwood floors, granite countertops, 42-inch maple cabinets, stainless steel. That people are getting kind of bored with that. Are, are you seeing that? Or? Yes, I'm, I'm seeing where the consumer wants better appliances before developers could use the, can I say brands? Sure. Okay. <laughs> can use like GE Profile um, and or the GE Monogram and that was acceptable. Now I'm seeing Wolf and, and um, Gen Air and, and a higher brand of appliances in less expensive units. And I mean like from 450 I'm seeing some developers now use Wolf stoves. It's like a thing that the consumer is expecting and if you don't then they don't view your, your property as competitive as someone else's. So they're, they're making distinctions on pretty small kinds of things it sounds yes. like. Well, it all adds up. It's you know, it's sort of like they do, like the appraisers do. It's a check and a minus, or a plus and a minus. They look at all, everything: the size of the units, the quality of the the finishes, uh, the location, and they adjust accordingly. What would you tell buyers today about what they should be considering looking looking in the market? Should they jump in now? Should they wait a while? People always need housing. I don't think this is a bad market. I think they have to be a smart buyer, make sure that they buy in a, in a good location, and the location has amenities like, like good you know, transportation, um, access to grocery stores, and then they, they buy in a building that, that's been done by a substantial developer, meaning solid reputation, um, and, and they buy you know, a size that that'll work for them for a period of time so they're not selling within the first year. I think part of the problem that we had when the market got to be so inflated is that people would buy and then 12 months later, 18 months later decide to sell and they wanted to add 10, 15 percent and for a while we got away with that and then all of a sudden it caught up. So I think you have to be sensitive to that. Are we seeing prices that. just flatten or in some cases go down? Or? I think we've hit our bottom in Chicago. There has been some decreases. I think it's flattened out right now. Rates are stable, and I think it's a good time to buy. What, uh, I don't know it's tough for someone who represents as many areas as you do, but uh, what are the areas where you see some strong potential for, for buyers these days? It depends on the price point that people are looking at. But um, south, the south side of Chicago has is, is got so much going on, and that's if you want to be along the lake and have enjoy the, the Millennium Park and, and the lake views, that's a perfect place to go. If you're looking for something more affordable, then I'd go right up that Irving Park, you know, straight to, to the expressway on both sides, have, have a lot of development, single family homes, rehab of, of courtyard buildings, and some, you know, three and six flight units being built. So there's a range of product out there? There's a range of product at all price point. People want to stay in the city. Are there, are there, is there any product that has been overbuilt? Because as long as I've been hearing about overbuilding, it seems the market's been absorbing everything. Mm -hmm. Is there any product that we genuinely have too much of? I think we have too many high rises. I think there's more of a demand for townhomes in the city, but unfortunately, the landowners want a lot of money for the property, which in return forces the developer to have to go up. And we have less townhome developments than, than we did years ago. So if, if somebody could buy land at the right price, I think that a townhome development would be very successful. Habitat has been branching out into some uh, areas that were speculative a couple of years ago. Correct. McKinley Park? McKinley Park is a good example. How, how is McKinley Park doing? It's doing well, but, but I think that we thought we'd pull from a lot broader neighborhoods than we did. Um, interestingly enough that most of the people that bought there were people that lived in the area. 
uh, younger group of people that are leaving their, their you know, families and buying their first apartment. And then some of the empty nesters saying, I'm tired of the house, I want to stay in the neighborhood I grew up, be around the park, and I'm, I'm going to buy in McKinley. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jim.